Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to be out in Bodhi. There it is, the ghost town of Bodhi. It's supposed to be one of the best preserved ghost towns in the area. I think they said there's about 200 buildings left here. At its height, there was over 10,000 people that lived there. Bodhi not only attracted miners, Bodhi also attracted everyone from gamblers to gunfighters and stage robbers. They say it was better known for its lawlessness than for its riches, and people often referred to it as the bad man from Bodhi. So th this is the bank here? I think so. And maybe one of these is a jail or something? Yeah. Oh, somewhere, somewhere down here. Even though the sun's out, it's still pretty cool out here today. I think it's because the elevation is around 8,000 feet. Go over here to the stamp mill. In 1875, a mine cave in revealed a rich strike. And then in 1878, there was another rich strike discovered up there. And in just six weeks, they shipped out over a million dollars of gold bullion. at the crossing of the Bodie and Benton Railroad Line where it's crossing Highway 167. It went from Auto Mills all the way up the hills to Bodie. And I'm not, I don't think we're going to be able to follow it into Bodie like I wanted to. A steady decline of mining and then the abandoned Bodie Railway in 1917. A devastating fire in 1932 destroyed a lot of the town. Even with the new strikes in the 1950s, Bodhi had become a ghost town. An interesting thing about Bodhi is, it seems frozen in time. The people seem to have left just as suddenly as they arrived. They left even the canned goods on the shelves inside their homes. This is a great place to visit. I think I'd like to come back here again someday.